This weekend marks the beginning of deer hunting season, and for one nonprofit, it's also the busiest time of the year. Hunters for the Hungry provides free meat to thousands of people in need across Virginia. But this year, one processing plant closed its doors, forcing others to take on more work. 10 News reporter Rob Manch takes a look at how the change is affecting one processor in Botetourt County. Sunday afternoon, David Harris's employees were busy chopping and packaging a major increase in donations from deer hunters. Due to the, uh, the plant that closed in Roanoke Overstreet's, we doubled the donations we normally have. Overstreet had been serving the Roanoke area for years. Now, five processing plants in Roanoke's surrounding counties are keeping hunters for the hungry going because it's meat that parents and children depend on. It helps out a lot of families. It helps a lot of families to have some meat extra other than just the other dry canned foods and so forth. It's the best form of protein that you can have. There's no fat to it. Sherry Crumley works for the Buchanan Area Ministerial Association, or BAMA, that manages several food pantries in Botetourt County. She says they rely on the venison provided by Harris. Until they signed on as processors, Botetourt County did not have a processor for Hunters for the Hungry. And we're a rural county. We have lots and lots of hunters. Crumley says it's ground meat and steaks that would just be thrown away if not for the program. When farmers get damage, permits, it would amaze you the number of deer that get thrown into a pit. So we try to make it as easy as possible for um, farmers and hunters to donate. Hunters for the Hungry also donates to larger organizations like Feeding America Southwest Virginia, which just reported a 50% drop in donations this past September. That's why Harris is encouraging anyone who hunts to think about others. We just need more donations so we can cover more food pantries because we've only had just enough for the local town here lately. So far, Harris is up to almost 600 pounds of processed venison. With a hunting season that lasts until December 2nd, he says it's a good start. In Botetourt County, Rob Manch, 10 News, working for you.